Hey there, Ashlyn, Martha Miller here with your town tea for the week of June 3rd, and what a week it's been, so let's jump right in. At Town Council on Tuesday, the FY25 budget was formally adopted. If you're looking for highlights about what was included in that budget for this coming fiscal year, you can find all of that on write-ups in our website and in some previous town teas as well. There's also actually a quite interesting conversation around data centers in general, not pertaining to any particular application that is coming before the town, but just around the history of data centers, kind of what we're seeing in other localities. Town manager Josh Farah has pulled together a, a white paper of sorts around kind of best practices in other localities, common community concerns, and then the opportunities around them. Again, as we're seeing more and more data center developments coming in, as well as this rezoning application that is going to come before town council and our planning commission in the coming months on the Iron Horse development project, one of which of their proposals includes a data, data center development. This is just a really interesting conversation around around kind of the best practices and other issues um, that are of community concern. So if you're interested in data centers generally and how the town is kind of currently thinking about those kinds of developments, be sure to check out the full minutes and the recording um, where you can find all of that information. Um, there was also a proposed noise ordinance revision from Chief Aaron Holt. No action was taken on that, but it probably will be up on our next uh, town council meeting. Again, if you're interested in kind of what those uh, revisions are, please feel free to check out the recording in the minutes where you can find all of those things. So let's talk about the elephant in the room, which is CSX, right? What a headache this has been for us. We totally feel your pain. I live in town myself, as some of you may know. And so we've been dealing with this, taking our kids back and forth to summer camp, trying to get to work. Work schedule has been a little bit unpredictable. We have truly been trying to get the information out to you all as quickly as we can. We realize that's not often quick enough, but we just thank everybody for your patience. The good news is, is that once this latest round is complete, our graded crossings should be much smaller smoother. We're also looking at having those pedestrian crossings enhanced. So overall, good improvements. The reason it's been so chaotic is that CSX is trying to do all of the work in a very concerted amount of time to minimize disruption overall. And we do realize that includes some like late evening work, which is highly disruptive, especially to those living on the train tracks. But the idea is to get it all done in a week or two weeks max, and then they'll move on. So hopefully the end result will be something everybody is happy with. And this is just one of those cons of having train tracks running right through your downtown. So we hear you, we feel your pain, and just ask for a little bit more patience while they wrap up their work here. On the exciting front, I hope some of you got to spy on the little movie shoot, and by little, I mean not little at all, that was going on in downtown on Monday. For those that aren't aware, this is the Pharrell biopic. He's a musician. He grew up in the Virginia Beach area, but a lot of it is actually being filmed in the Richmond area. They filmed two scenes here in Ashland, one right in front of Hometown Realty, which was turned into a shoot's 19 70s era shoe store and another on the Randolph Macon tennis courts. So as we're able, we'll release some kind of behind the scenes photos. Those are kind of under lock right now by the production crew while they're still filming. Um, but we look forward to seeing that on the big screen and having Ashland in yet another, uh, yet another movie. And the last thing I'll wrap with before I close is we're hiring. So we have several positions open on our website. Specifically, I'm going to give a little shout out for my position. I am hiring for a part-time communications specialist, someone to help me with newsletter, social media content, and really just I need an excellent writer, someone who is creative. It's a 20 hour a week position here in the office, but with flexible hours. So just a little plug, come work for me. If you know someone who maybe is looking for part-time work, whether that's a parent who wants to be home when their kids get off the school bus or a freelancer looking for kind of steady gig, I think we're a great place to work and um, I'd love to meet them. And all the details about that position, again, are on our website site under government and employment opportunities. All right, Ashlyn, that's it. I'll see you in a couple of weeks and have a great weekend.